Hi there. Now, in this question, we're given that a circle with center C has the equation x squared plus y squared minus 2x plus 10y minus 19 equals 0. And in the first part of the question, we've got to find the coordinates of C and the radius of the circle for three marks. And then in part two, we've got to verify that the point with coordinates 7 minus 2 lies on the circumference of the circle for one mark. So if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Now the answer to part 1 is that the centre of the circle has coordinates 1 minus 5 and the radius is equal to 3 root 5. So if you didn't get these and just want to see how we get this answer, then I'll take you through it. Now before we start, just a basic recap. You should be familiar with the form of a circle. It is x minus x1 all squared plus y minus y1 all squared equals r squared, where the center has coordinates x1, y1, and the radius is r. And if you're unfamiliar with this, do take a look at the tutorials on my website. So what I need to do is just copy our equation of the circle down first of all. So for part one then, we've got x squared plus y squared minus 2x plus 10y minus 19 equals 0. And this isn't in this format at the moment. So to put it in that format, what we do is basically group the x terms together. So we've got x squared here, and then we'll just group the minus 2x with that x squared term. And then we'll take the y squared and group it with the 10y here. And I'm going to add 19 to both sides, so it equals 19. And what we do next is we complete the square on these two terms here, and we complete the square on these two terms here. So if we complete the square on x squared minus 2x, again, I'm assuming that you're familiar with this. What we do is we have a bracket, we put x at the front here and square it. And then we halve the coefficient of x. The coefficient of x is minus 2, and if we halve that, it's minus 1. So that when you square this out, you'll get x squared, first term here, you'll get minus 1x minus another 1x, in other words, minus 2x, but then you'll get plus 1 when you square the minus 1. And there isn't any plus 1 in here, so what I do is we subtract 1. Okay, so this, when expanded, will just give me x squared minus 2x. And I do a similar thing over these two terms now. I put a bracket, I square it, put a y at the front here, and halve the coefficient of y. So the coefficient of y is the 10, so we halve it and get 5. And when you square this out, you'll get y squared plus 5y plus another 5y, that's the 10y, but then you'll get plus 25 when you square the 5. So we subtract 25, and this would now give me y squared plus 10y, and this equals the 19. So I am nearly there now, because all we do is we just write x minus 1 all squared, we write plus y plus 5 all squared, now on the left here, we've got minus 1 minus another 25, which is minus 26. Add 26 to both sides now, and you'll get equals 19 plus 26, which is 45. And now I've got this in this format, so I can now see what the center and the radius would be. So from here, okay, what we've got then is that the center has coordinates of 1, and it's going to be minus 5, okay, 1 minus 5. And as far as the radius goes, the radius then is going to be equal to the square root of 45. And I can think of this as 9 times 5. So we've got the square root of 9 times 5. And the square root of 9 is 3, and 
as for 5, well, we'll just leave it at root 5. And there we go, centre and the radius. Now for part 2, we've got to verify that the point 7 minus 2 lies on the circumference of the circle then. So how do we do this? Well, it's just a question of substituting these values, x is 7, y is minus 2, into our equation and hopefully show that it comes to 0. If it does, then 7 minus 2 satisfies the equation and lies on the circumference. So it's just a question of setting it out, really, OK? And the way I would do something like this is I would put when x equals 7 and y equals minus 2, I'll take my equation, x squared plus y squared minus 2x plus 10y minus 19. Now, I won't say that it equals 0. I'm hoping that it will equal 0 when I substitute these values in. So I'll show that I've substituted these values in. And so we've got minus the 2x now. So that's minus 2 times 7. And then we've got plus 10y. So that's 10 times the minus 2. And then minus 19. So what we've got here is 49 plus 4 minus 14 minus 20 minus 19. And if you work that out, you do get 0. So it follows from this that 7 minus 2 lies on the circumference. And I just feel it's good just to summarize this point at the end okay so we'll just put that in there lies on the circumference and there we go okay